and we start our week long coverage of Texas Rangers spring training from Surprise, Arizona with a story that many wish would have never happened. A scary injury for outfielder Willie Calhoun at Surprise Stadium on Sunday. Now that is where we find Tobin McDuff with the latest on the situation. Tobin, what can you tell us? Yeah, I don't see two o'clock. Thanks a lot, Mike. Yeah. Yeah, Willie Calhoun was really looking forward to this season, expected to be the opening day starter in left field for the Texas Rangers after an incredible year last year in which he had 21 homers in just 83 games. But all of that changed yesterday with one pitch. It's often said the hardest thing to do in professional sports is hit a 95 mile per hour fastball. It takes roughly four tenths of a second from the time the ball leaves the pitcher's hand to the time it hits the catcher's glove. Or Rangers outfielder Willie Calhoun suffering a broken jaw Sunday after being hit by a 95 mile per hour fastball. And you saw him covering his face and then it was just a uh, silence for a good minute or two. My initial reaction was just to get to him and make sure he knew that like we were there for him and that he wasn't by himself because you know I've been hit in the head before and you know it's nice to feel like people are around you like taking care of you and loving you. Tough walking in here today and you're not seeing <clears throat> Willie's smiling face um, and you know we just hope he gets back as soon as he can. The pitch thrown by Calhoun's former Dodgers teammate Julio Urias. I've been in his shoes before, hit, a, hit another person in the face before. Um, uh, it changes your mindset um, going forward in that outing. You don't want to yank another fastball or spray another fastball the whole time you're thinking about it. it's tough mentally. And now Calhoun faces the toughest obstacle of his young career recovering from a devastating injury. And the latest update we have, uh, we were updated just a, a little bit ago, and Calhoun underwent surgery late this afternoon, so they hope by this time tomorrow they'll have more answers about his condition. Mike? All right, thanks a lot, Tobin. Really appreciate that. Now, of course, the Texas Rangers will be playing tonight at 8.05 against the Oakland A's. And